Hello. I don't quite know how to do this vlogging thing. My name is Kano. I'm currently a resident of East Campus, which is one of MIT's undergraduate dorms. And East Campus will be going offline for the coming two years to undergo renovations, which the building desperately needs. So the renovations are very, very necessary. Um, but it's left a lot of residents, including myself, feeling very sad <laughs> that it's, it's going away after nearly a hundred years of uh, standing strong and, you know, also feeling hopeful and curious as to how the culture will be after a, uh, a little hiatus and just there's a lot of emotions right now. So I thought to capture what East Campus is like before this renovations by showing you two things. One in my own little bubble showing you a bit of my room and a very quick time lapse of me packing it. Well, quick on your end. It'll be a while, several hours on my end because I am a fool and left packing to the very, very last minute. I have to be out of here in three, nine, in around nine hours. The time is currently 2.50 a.m. on May 25th, 2023. Anyways, <laughs> I could have packed earlier but the time happens to be now. And two, I will be walking through every floor, all 10 floors of East Campus. Also, for your information, MIT dorms have a wide range of uh, cultures and traditions and people. So it's quite nice to have this great selection and East Campus specifically airs more on the side of um, being a really close-knit community, really creative and vibrant and wild and alive. And I, I mean, I'm a biased resident. I love it here. There there's so much to be said that could capture or <laughs> at least attempt to capture what the culture is like here. But a couple things I think add, or I guess help capture the essence of EC, of its East Campus, colloquially known as EC. Um, some things include it's one of the few dorms where you can paint the walls and the ceilings and build your own furniture and create your own makerspace in the lounges or attach swings um, or hammocks to the walls and um, drill through doors or add cool lights or interacting uh, parts uh, to your uh, walls or doors and it just it's it's so the physical building gives so much freedom to, stu to students and really trust the students to uh, to use the space and students certainly have I <laughs> I mean I could just go on gushing but I won't because there's plenty of blogs and videos and much more out there. So, moving along. My door, which reads, Havoc will wreak again. Mural wall. Meticulous organization system. Sink. Loft. A closet extension that I had built to continue off of the closet that was provided by the room. My plants and the bamboo. There's a little alien nightlight. There were not that many good places to put my phone such that you'd be able to see most of the room while I was packing, except for this ledge. And so I decided to put my phone here, albeit the support to hold the phone up was difficult to find. So I like got this rubber band or rather a series of three rubber bands, strung them together, notice this screw and notice this light switch here and it, it it holds up so we will run with this and yes i did film this video the one you're watching right now with my ipad because that is the only other video source i have okay <laughs> 